Understanding the Lobes of the Brain and Their Functions Hello, welcome to the Science Guide ASAP Learning. Today we are going to be speaking about the lobes of the brain and their functions. Hope this helps. Please support this new channel by liking this video and subscribing for more videos like this one. Welcome to this video on the lobes of the brain and their functions. Our brains are incredibly complex organs that control all of our thoughts, feelings, and actions. One of the ways scientists and neurologists have tried to make sense of the brain is by dividing it into different regions, or lobes, each of which has distinct structures and functions. Understanding the different lobes of the brain and their functions can help us better appreciate how our brains work, and how we can take care of them. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the four major lobes of the brain and explore their unique roles in cognition, perception, and behavior. So, let's get started. The frontal lobe. The frontal lobe is located at the front of the brain, behind the forehead, and is the largest lobe in the human brain. It is responsible for a wide range of functions, including voluntary movement, problem-solving, decision-making, and impulse control. The prefrontal cortex, located at the front of the frontal lobe, is responsible for a variety of higher-level cognitive functions, such as planning, decision-making, and problem-solving. The motor cortex, located at the rear of the frontal lobe, is responsible for controlling voluntary movements. Broca's area, located in the left frontal lobe of most people, is responsible for language production and speech. Damage to Broca's area can lead to a condition called Broca's aphasia, which impairs the ability to produce language. Disorders or injuries that can affect the frontal lobe include traumatic brain injury, stroke, and degenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. These can cause a range of symptoms, including difficulty with decision-making, impaired movement control, and changes in personality and behavior. The parietal lobe. The parietal lobe is one of the four main lobes of the brain, located in the upper back part of the brain behind the frontal lobe. This lobe plays a vital role in processing sensory information and integrating it with other sensory information to create a cohesive perception of the world around us. The parietal lobe contains the somatosensory cortex, which is responsible for processing sensory information related to touch, temperature, and pain sensations from different parts of the body. The somatosensory cortex is organized in a specific way, with different areas corresponding to different body parts. This organization is called the homunculus, and it is essential in allowing the brain to process and interpret sensory information correctly. In addition to sensory information, the parietal lobe is also involved in spatial awareness and perception, including the ability to recognize objects and navigate through the environment. Disorders or injuries that affect the parietal lobe can lead to a range of symptoms, including difficulty with spatial orientation and perception, problems with sensation or movement, and difficulty with language or math. For example, Damage to the somatosensory cortex can result in numbness or tingling in specific parts of the body, while damage to the parietal lobe as a whole can lead to difficulty with hand-eye coordination and the ability to recognize faces or objects. Understanding the functions and potential problems associated with the parietal lobe can help individuals better understand and manage any issues related to this area of the brain. Temporal lobe. The temporal lobe is one of the four major lobes of the brain, located on the sides of the brain above the ears. It plays a crucial role in auditory processing, memory, and language comprehension. The auditory cortex, located within the temporal lobe, processes sound information received from the ears. It is responsible for detecting different sounds and analyzing their features, such as pitch, loudness, and location. The hippocampus, also located in the temporal lobe, is essential for memory formation, consolidation, and retrieval. Disorders or injuries that affect the temporal lobe can have various impacts on brain function, Temporal lobe epilepsy is a type of epilepsy that affects the temporal lobe and can cause seizures. Damage to the temporal lobe can also result in difficulties with memory, language comprehension, and face recognition. For example, damage to the hippocampus can lead to anterograde amnesia, which is the inability to form new memories after the injury. Similarly, damage to the temporal lobe's language areas can lead to language impairments, such as difficulty understanding spoken or written language, receptive aphasia, or difficulty producing speech, expressive aphasia. Occipital lobe. The occipital lobe is located at the back of the brain, and it is primarily responsible for processing visual information. It receives visual stimuli from the eyes and processes it into meaningful images. The visual cortex, located in the occipital lobe, plays a crucial role in this process by processing and interpreting visual information. This part of the brain contains specialized nerve cells that are responsible for recognizing color, shape, and movement. One of the most well-known examples of a disorder that affects the occipital lobe is a condition called cortical blindness, which occurs when the visual cortex is damaged. 
People with cortical blindness may have intact eyes and optic nerves, but they cannot see because their brains cannot process the visual information. Other disorders that can affect the occipital lobe include visual agnosia, which is the inability to recognize objects, and prosopagnosia, which is the inability to recognize faces. Injuries to the occipital lobe can also lead to visual disturbances, such as blurred vision or visual hallucinations. Migraines and strokes can cause temporary or permanent damage to the occipital lobe, leading to visual symptoms. Additionally, some drugs or toxins can cause damage to the occipital lobe and impair visual processing. Limbic system. The limbic system is a complex set of structures located deep within the brain that is responsible for regulating emotions, memory, and motivation. It is composed of several structures, including the amygdala and hippocampus. The amygdala plays a crucial role in the processing and regulation of emotions, particularly fear and anxiety. It also plays a role in reward processing and social behavior. The hippocampus, on the other hand, is involved in the formation and consolidation of memories, particularly those related to spatial navigation and episodic memories. It also plays a role in emotional regulation and stress response. The limbic system is connected to several other regions of the brain, including the prefrontal cortex and basal ganglia, and together they work to regulate behavior and cognition. Dysfunction in the limbic system has been associated with several mental health disorders, such as anxiety disorders, depression, and post-traumatic stress disorder. Injuries or disorders affecting the limbic system can have a significant impact on a person's emotional and cognitive functioning. For example, damage to the amygdala can result in an inability to process fear or a heightened sensitivity to perceived threats, while damage to the hippocampus can lead to memory deficits and difficulty forming new memories. Overall, understanding the functions of the limbic system is crucial in understanding how the brain regulates emotions, memories, and motivation, and how dysfunction in this system can lead to mental health disorders. In conclusion, Understanding the different lobes of the brain and their functions is crucial for better health and wellness. We have discussed the location and functions of the frontal lobe, parietal lobe, temporal lobe, occipital lobe, and the limbic system. By learning more about the brain, individuals can gain a deeper understanding of how it functions and how to improve overall health and wellness. It is important to continue learning about the brain and its functions to better understand and care for this vital organ. Hope this helps. Please support this new channel by liking this video and subscribing for more videos like this one.